Welcome to the Velvet Room. Alright guys, and welcome back to more Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth. We are here once again within the Velvet Room. And exactly what is Marie's role here? She hasn't really... They haven't really went over a tutorial of why Marie's here. I mean, she says she will do whatever she was doing before, right? She will pretty much continue doing whatever she's doing, but... They really didn't, uh, pretty much, they didn't really promote what she was doing. I guess we gotta progress the game and then she will do whatever she is. I, she used to create skill cards, duplicate skill cards, but it doesn't look like she's doing that right now. But we're here to see if we can fuse up any new personas. We can get Titania. She's got runic shield. Damn, look at all this. Look at all these personas. We can get rid of Nico Show. Yeah, we can get rid of all these dudes we have for this chick. Dormina, Utudi, Garula. Uh, Magaru, huh? Death Counter. I don't know. Titania isn't. The pretty much. Eh, Titania doesn't seem to be worth it. But we're gonna get it anyway because we need to add her to our compendium. So. We will carry over... Oh, she learns Garula, so we don't need to carry that over. Counterattack whenever a user's roll is attacked for three turns. You know what? I, I don't know. We're not going to carry Garula because she's about to learn that. Termina. Remove all binds. Maybe that. Maybe death counter... And maybe just regular Garu. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. This is our first three-way fusion. Live! She did it. No failure. I am Titania. I will lend you my power. Titania. Alright, we can create Elagor, Phoenix, and Shisha. Mo Shuvu. Um, to be honest, I do not care all too much about Titania. And I think I might just fuse her up here. Yeah, we're gonna fuse Titania up. Because we can carry over Windwall, Death Counter if we want. We can carry over No Paralysis. We might want to carry over, like, Resist Ice. Yeah, we can give this... Oh, yeah, we can definitely give this to uh, our girl. You know who would actually really benefit from having a uh, Phoenix? Our girl. Yukiko. We don't want to... We don't want to carry over Death Counter, probably. Let's carry over Sukukaja. She's pretty much going to be playing support, so... She's gonna have no paralysis. She can't get paralyzed, which is good. And then she won't be weak against ice. So we got rid of her ice resist or weakness. And then we're gonna give her Mututi, where she can get rid of binds, which is gonna be nice. So yeah, let's carry that over. And then this is dude this has yeah, he has Miragi, but you know what? We ain't gonna sweat it. Do do dig a do. Do, 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 the tantalizing song. I am Phoenix. I have come to serve you, Dark Phoenix. We can get Shisha, but for who? Oni, we want Oni. We, we want to keep all those other personas. I mean, you want to start working on your compendium as early as possible, because later down the line, like, if it's any similar to, like, Persona 4 or Persona 3, where you need to do requests for Margaret and Elizabeth, to where, like, oh, I need this certain persona with this skill. I'm like, damn, I never got this persona to create this persona, so I need to go back and do a whole bunch of freaking compendium grinding. So that's why I'm getting it out the way as I go along with the game, so I don't have to do all this later in life. <laughs> later down the road, you know? So we got 20% complete... So that is very good, if if I do say so myself. And we want to go to the menu. We want to go hook up Yukiko. Not what's... Yeah, we can get... You can, yeah, we can definitely take her off of this. Not only is she getting a more HP boost from Phoenix, she's also getting a very adequate SP 
push from Phoenix. Like 26 and then more HP with Phoenix, so yeah. And then she's got more options if she doesn't need to attack, if she doesn't need to heal, she can just use Paralysis or Tsukukaja to boost up people's uh, speed to dodge stuff. So that's good. Alright, good, good, good. Also, I don't think I ever noticed or told you guys, but off camera, I actually did, I actually did uh, fill out the second floor map and I got, I, I didn't fill it out, I used play coins because the, the more you complete of a map, the more tiles you fill in on the map, the higher your percentage of the map, okay, the less play coins it takes to open up a chest. So I open up the, the chest on floor two of You and Wonderland, and pretty much I was able to get a skill card card or uh, a skill card called okay Recarb. And I haven't used it yet. I'm not sure if I want to use it immediately, but I'm gonna hold on to it just in case Marie can duplicate it later. So right now what we wanna do before we go into the next labyrinth is just View the rest of these, view the rest of these uh, skits or strolls, I guess you could call them. Third floor concession alley at the leftover deli. It seems your companions are engaged in a serious discussion. Uh, oh, it's you, Ishiga. You should hear this as well. I thought it would be easier for us to communicate if we choose a general name for each of our teams. Since we just met, we're trying to come up with ideas how we can better cooperate with each other. Let me see. We're already using the designation C's, so... Huh? C's? 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 Seven C's? <laughs> eh, wrong. <laughs> well, how about our school names? We're from Gekugan High, and you guys are from Yasugami High, right? Gekugan High San and Yasugama High San. I'd bite my tongue every time I had to say that. How about we abbreviate it? Some students call it Gek Gekko High for short. Huh? Gekko High? That sounds kind of cool. Kind of like how some people call our Yaso High for short. Gekko and Team Yaso? Team Gekko, Team Yaso! Man, that's boring. <laughs> You think so? What about Geeky and Yasi? <laughs> Geki and Yasi. Mm. What about Gex and Yaz? Like character names. How's Gecko and how's Yaso? That seems a bit old fashioned. <sighs> I question our priorities if we choose a name that's harder to understand. <laughs> I, su I suggest we simply go with Team Gecko and Team Yaso. <laughs> that settles it. I'm feeling hungry now. You still gonna eat? What do you mean, still? I haven't even gotten anything to eat lately. Uh, I guess for you, lately only covers two or three minutes. <laughs> Damn, Chie. My girl can eat. My girl can eat that meat. The navigation is no different since. Da -da -da. <laughs> the third floor concession alley. The companions are taking a break. Oh, it's, it's our new leader. Come on over. Hello, Nara. We are just talking about me. We were just talking about me and Rize. Hmm. Fuka's and Rize's abilities are very interesting. You say you can't attack shadows, but your personas let you provide your allies with information. Too bad we can't tell the layout of the labyrinth, though. Is there a difference between you when it comes to your abilities? Um. We're both focused on support, but there are some differences. <laughs> I can make someone act faster during battle. Wow! Hmm? Act faster? Do you mean you can increase their speed? Something like that. If someone was hurt, you want them to be healed before the enemy got another move, right? That's true. I see. I see. If an ally could act faster than the enemy, that could turn the tide of battle. It would be effective not just for healing, but for attacking as well. Fuka-chan told me she could provide healing aid. Hmm, maybe I want to actually have... If Rize can only make us go faster, I, I think we might want to just... Because Fuka's healing ability was really nice when we had to go through swarms of random encounters. So I actually might switch their roles. I actually might make her the the field navigator and then Fuka the battle navigator. <laughs> I can restore everyone's health at a constant rate. It's just a little at a time, but... I see. 
Once it's used, we can continue to regain health for some time. I can see how that's effective. And sure, then, Fuka offers healing while Ruze offers more general support. Mm, mm, that's a really vague way of putting it, but I guess that's the idea. I guess so. Hmm. Regardless, we should charge... Or we should change who's on duty depending on our situation during the investigation. Did you get all that, Naru? I got it. <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> hmm? Were you sleeping with your eyes open? I'm back! Where it comes running towards your group. Oh, wow! Rijay Chan's Ohagi, Fuka Chan's... What? What's a dangle? This really is par paradise. What is she talking about? I'm gonna have some. Hmm? You're not eating anything, Naru? He just got here. Oh, I see. What? Zen, were you with Rize Chan and Fuga Chan before he got here? Oh. That's right. I see. Uh oh, Ray getting jelly. Ray getting jelly. There's nothing for you to worry about. That's right. We weren't doing anything, so. Hmm? What do you mean? Uh, I was thinking of how nice it would be uh, to eat rice cake with Zen or anything. Uh, da, 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 honest. Then you don't want these? I have brought rice cakes for you, you know. Did you want... Enmitsu? Enmitsu? What the fuck kind of food is that? <laughs> Sounds difficult to say. So it's gotta be nasty. I'm happy for you, Ray Chan. <laughs> Alright. You enjoy some time with your companions. But enough shits and giggles. Time to get serious. Time to head into the lab breath. After we check out the nurse's office. Checking it out the nurse's office. Welcome. Kicking it, kicking it back with Elizabeth. Getting high in her office. Got that cannabis. Smoking it up in the office. <laughs> we can't take any more requests. But she's handing out cannabis over the office. <laughs> over the counter cannabis for free. Oh my god, Elizabeth, you're the best. You're the best. We need to actually purchase new equipment, I believe, for everybody. Oh. I seems you have something quite rare with you. You show Theo the children's book. This is quite amazing. What if I were to do this and then do that there? Dear me, I've come up with a new idea. Please wait here for a moment. Do, do, do. I'm sorry guys, I just had to jam out, I'm sorry. I'll make it ready for you, so please make use of it. And please take whatever you showed me earlier with you. It's already inspired me, so I have no further use for it. The idea is in my head. Promise bracer, so we got new accessories. Do good do do there's nothing we can sell. Are you kidding me? Growth. Whoa, we can get money off of that. <laughs> Dude, that's a lot of money we can get for no reason. Weapons. Kanji. Kanji. He's in my party, so we might want to... Oh, wait. Looks like they already get, like, the best weapons. Yeah, they already got the best weapons available to them. Which is good, I guess. Chie. Teddy Son. But damn, they didn't give him the best armor though, right? Damn it, they didn't want to give him the best armor. I got enough to buy this armor for Kanji. And you know what? We don't need to give him since Shinji's not in our party. We can just tell Shinji to any up his armor and give it to uh, our guy. Accessories though. Allows where to use the skill Holy Blessing. What the hell is the Holy Breath? What is Holy Blessing? Dude, that better be like... That better be what I think it is. <laughs> that better be what I think it is. You know what I'm saying? I think you guys know what I'm trying to think. What I think it is. It better be like Holy Bottle. It better be something that prevents... Ridiculous... Amounts of... You know... Random encounters. Holy Blessing. Because if that's the case, oh my god, that's going to be godlike. Anyway, what we need to do really quick is go to the party. Can I tell them to, like, unequip stuff? No. 
Is there a way to manage everyone's equipment here? Yeah, I want to actually switch Rize to that and then Fuka to navigation on the battle support. What the? Allow Fuka to provide support during battle, but it will be Rize's voice? What the hell? So I, okay, if you want, if you want Fuka's skills, but just want to hear Rize's voice, you can do that. And then if you just want her skills in the, the labyrinth navigation, and you just want to hear Fuka's voice, oh, okay. But we're going to switch that. Rize, Fuga, so we don't get confused. This sucks. Can I go through my? Ah, oh, yeah, I can go through my team, uh, my reserve team's equipment. Good stuff. We want to take that off of him really quick. We want to give that to our buddy Kanji. Kanji. Kanji, 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 and we're actually gonna give growth. We're actually gonna give that growth talisman to Zen and Ray. I want to level them up since they probably will get the least time in my party. And we want to pretty much all-purpose apron, huh? Eh, I guess they're fine. But I think I do want to take off the accessories from the other classmates. Like, I believe... Yukari had one. Yeah, let's take that off of her. We also got to take the other one off of Vigas. Oh, she can keep that. He had the monocle, so... Let's take that off of him. Alright, now we need to go to Naoto. Give her more SP. She'll probably need it. Her hit rate is good, I believe. We're gonna give her... We're gonna give him the monocle. Alright, it looks like we are good to go. I mean, Yukiko doesn't have a an, an accessory, but we're ready. We're ready to finally hop into the next labyrinth. Damn, I gained a level without even trying because of the request here. Now, hop into the next labyrinth, please. We ended up enjoying ourselves, but I believe it's about time we headed to the next labyrinth. Do we know where it is? Yes, we've already scanned for it. It's the second year class two room. Second year class two room, huh? That's our class. Oh no, please tell me there's not a group date cafe there. <laughs> what is that? It was our class's display. You have a well, um a group date. For real? Man, I wish I was a student at your school. Is that any fun? I don't want to think about it. What's this group date thing? A group date is the crossroads of destiny. Oh, I see he's out his suit. Countless hunters of love gather in search of the one in this vast world tied to them by a red string. Uh-huh. Keep talking, Teddy. Wow. Did she just really toss her damn food? Countless hungers have a huge banquet in search of the one in this vast universe tied with a string? It's scarier the way she says it. I mean, Teddy, don't lie like that to Rachel. She'll believe you. Aww. But I just can't leave Rachel alone. I understand the feeling. I won't leave you alone either, Aichan. May I score with you? I refuse. <laughs> From what you say, it sounds like this group date is a rather refined event. Uh, not in the least. Is a red string really tied to the person you're destined to be with? I don't know, but I think we all want to believe that it is. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it exists. Right, Zen? I just can't stop looking at Yukiko's damn black freaking peerless eyes. Like, they're just... They stare into your soul, man. You're going to eat string? 
Ew. That's not what I meant. Red string? You're gonna eat freaking toothpaste? Huh? It's still not noon yet. I guess it really is stock. What are you talking about? The clock tower outside. It's been the same since we got here. I couldn't tell if it was wrong or stopped, but... No, it's not stopped. It's moving. Just... Oh, I see. Then the time must not be right. Um, can we go take a closer look at it? Is it peaking your ace detective instincts? Not necessarily, but... Ace detective? Uh-oh. Ace Detective? I'm sort of an Ace Detective myself. Oh boy. Damn it. Damn it, Junpei. There's what looks to be a tower in the middle of the yard. A large clock at the top is pointing to 11.55. A clock tower in the center of the schoolyard. Would it not be too obtrusive? That's odd. There's no door that would lead inside. How is it maintained? Could its mechanism be inaccurate because of a lack of maintenance? Thing is, we never had anything like this at Yasugami. You don't? Actually, I recall an occasion when the principal told me something. He claimed there was a clock tower at Yasugami High at one point, though I don't know what it looked like. Really? Oh, I think you're right. I kind of remember one. But I remember it being more like a small monument, not a huge tower. At least, I don't think it was so big that a person could go inside. And I remember hearing that it was demolished before I started elementary school. And that would place it over ten years ago. Could this mean we've traveled back in time? Possibly. Tra time travel? Why? <laughs> of course! That's the answer to all these problems. Time travel. Wait, seriously? I can't say for certain yet. There's no explaining things with common sense in a place where shadows roam. You're right. This place is pretty strange. I don't recall going into a TV, and we don't need our glasses. TV? Wait, that's not the first time you said something like that. What are you talking about? Huh? You guys don't go into TVs? Then how do you get to where the shadows are? We go to Tartarus during the dark hour. Oh, right. We're supposed to be the only ones inside there. So what do you guys do during the dark hour? The dark hour? I don't know. What's this dark hour thing? You don't know of the dark hour? Are you truly Persona users? The dark hour is a hidden time which follows midnight. Those without the potential cannot detect it. During the dark hour, shadows appear within a tower that we call Tartarus. I hate Tartarus. <laughs> and it's the only thing that's keeping me from replaying Persona 3. And every month on a full moon, an especially large shadow appears. We fight and defeat these in the hopes of eliminating the dark hour. Man, you guys think sounds pretty different from ours. Um, then what are you all... We're pursuing a killer. A, a killer? There's been a serial murder case going on in the town of Inaba where we live. The killer works by putting their victims into the TV. Inside the TVs, there's a world filled with shadows. That's actually where Teddy is from. I used to live in the TV world, but then Yosuke and the others came, and I decided to come out. You lived in a world where shadows roam. It's just like Zen and Rei. I'm like Teddy? Then will we be able to go out into the outside world with everyone? Like he did? I'm sure you will. I didn't even think about going outside until Yosuke and everyone came. But when I did leave, it was so much fun that I wished I had done it much sooner. Me too. Until everyone came here, I never even thought about going back. It's true. Hey, Zen boy, don't tell me you don't like being treated the same as me. It's a real honor, you know. <laughs> Can it, Teddy? I was just getting the important part. So anyway, if you're in the TV world on a foggy day, your own shadow will attack and kill you. 
Normally, only Persona users can go in and out of the TV. But they can put other people in there as well. So, the culprit is using their Persona ability for murder? There's much we don't know yet. But we know for a certainty that we will capture the culprit. Oh my god. Our reasons for fighting are completely different from yours. Anyway, this is not the TV world. And it's most likely not this Tartarus you speak of either. Which means that we know almost nothing about it. I believe we should cast aside all that we think we know and learn the rules of this world. I thought this clock tower might provide some sort of hint. But that's unlikely if we can't enter. I'm sorry to have wasted our time here. Let's head to the next labyrinth. <laughs>